Live at four, enough already. More snow is coming our way. A live look at Waukesha. Viewers just south and west of Milwaukee, you are going to get hit the hardest by this. And we want to take a live look at Mitchell International Airport. You wouldn't even know there are runways back there, folks. <laughs> this weather is hitting us hard because of it. At least nine flights are scheduled uh, that were scheduled to arrive in Chicago, rather, have already been diverted to Milwaukee. Several more are expected to do the same over the next few hours. If you're flying anywhere or picking anyone up, you're going to want to be sure to check the flight status before you leave the house. And a good chunk of the Midwest and the Great Plains blanketed by snow this afternoon. Let's take a look at some video out of Kansas City, Missouri with the commute. It's tough. The city bus got stuck in the snow. Fortunately, a pickup truck. Always a pickup truck to the rescue. <laughs> that is why I drive a truck. <laughs> that is why I got it. do. Big truck. truck. All right, big right. weather system. The storm's <laughs> expected to impact drivers this afternoon tonight. Brian Goddard, fill us in. How many city buses will I pull out of the snow tonight to my pickup truck? Let's see. Uh, we are watching the snow move in, and this has been a heavy snow band. Uh, it started around 1, 1 o'clock in Kenosha and Racine. They've already picked up three inches of snow in Kenosha, two inches in Racine, and about two and a half or so over towards Lake Geneva. And it has started snowing pretty heavily here in Milwaukee exactly an hour ago, but there has really been no accumulation except for on the snowy surfaces. But now as temperatures are dropped just a few degrees, the side streets are getting a little bit slushy, but the main streets are still in pretty good shape. Everyone now under the winter weather advisory until noon tomorrow. That includes Fond du Lac and Dodge counties, which weren't included in that. Um, two to three inches of snow to the northwest by noon tomorrow. Three to five for a huge chunk of southeastern Wisconsin from Sheboygan to Port Washington. Even here in Milwaukee, out towards Waukesha and Lake Mills, oh, parts of Walworth County, Racine, and Kenosha will pick up five to seven inches of snow. As I mentioned, Kenosha already at three inches of snow, but there's a little break off to the east of us that is moving in. Everything's moving east to west, so the snow will taper off, but we've had quite a little snow band move through here within the last couple of hours. You can see the visibility has been knocked way down with the snow, but if you squint to the bottom of your screen, you can see the traffic on 94 is still moving quite well as the salt and the warmer temperatures are doing a good job. Traffic moving along pretty decent on the side streets as well, but they are snow covered and that visibility way down. Turn on your headlights. 32 degrees is the temperature. Northeast wind at 18 to 30 miles per hour and some places almost 40, but this is not blowing and drifting snow. This is the heavy wet stuff. This will be fun to shovel later tonight and in tomorrow. We'll stay right around that freezing mark overnight tonight with about two to four inches of snow by morning. Back All to right. you guys. Brian, thanks.